Hello, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you're watching from, wherever you tuned in from this video from. It's John Kendrick TV. I'm here to show you or I bring you a tutorial set up, whatever you want to call it, video to show you how to um, put Cody, Providence, um, Popcorn Time, whatever you may want onto your Apple TV, um, whether it's a 4K or fourth um, gen generation device, third, second, first gen generation device. You can use this tutorial, this setup, this walkthrough to be able to um, install or load those typical you know, apps onto your device. Now, a little breakdown of why this tutorial or this walkthrough may be needed. Um, there's one of three ways to sideload apps or install apps onto an Apple TV device that are not in the App Store. One is Cydia Impactor, another is Xcode, and the third is, um, you can also, you know, um, do it from root access and terminal SSH um, loop into your device or whatnot. Uh, but there's websites that you can use to have Apple developer accounts um, sign your apps onto your device. Uh, one in particular that I use is known as AppDB. And uh, you can go to this website. It'll allow you to install the profile onto your device and you'll be able to manage it from your phone or your laptop, MacBook, wherever you may need. Um, by managing, I mean that you will be able to um, choose a particular app um, it's a, if it's still available and valid, you can um, install it onto your device known as your Apple TV. Now, uh, the reason this is handy is because in order to sign an application, um, you need to be a Apple developer or you can use a free developer account. Uh, free developer accounts requires you to re-sign the app every seven days. And by sign, I mean... I don't know the technicalities of the actual definition or whatever, uh, but it, it just gives you permission to use this um, app onto the device and it, it stays there as long as it's signed. Doing that freely, it requires you to do it every seven days. Um, if you want to last up to a year, you have to use an Apple developer account. This walkthrough that I'm showing you allows you to do it um, as if you're using an Apple developer account, uh, but it does require $20. Um, well, $23. My thing is $23 is way less than $100. It does last up to a year. The only downside or cons that you may come across is sometimes Apple uh, revotes those accounts. Um, it happens. There's no control over it. It is random, um, but it doesn't last long. You will get your, um, your assets back um, as soon as it allows us to. Now, first, you're going to want to go to Safari. Um, my already has a device that I use and manage from my phone. That's my Apple TV. I also manage other people's Apple TV from my account. Um, but when you go to this site, it's going to have link your device. You're going to click on that and I will have a, um, you know, a couple of screenshots showing you the walkthrough process. Um, if you already have your device linked, you're going to want to click on the menu button at the top left, the three lines. Once you do that, you're going to go to device management. Once you go to device management, you're going to go to link switch device. All right, so on this page, once you go to AppDB, you're going to click on link your device. Once you do that, you're going to want to put in an iCloud, iCloud email address. Um, once you do that, you will be able to um, install it onto your device as the previous picture shown. Uh, once you have it installed and you come back to this page, 
um, and you refresh it, you'll be able to see that you have it linked. Then you will go to the uh, menu button, device management and link device. It's going to give you a code that you're going to, and the steps to install it onto your Apple TV. And you just do that. You follow those steps. Once you've done that, um, you'll be able to install the apps onto your Apple TV device. There you go. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you need anything else.